Welcome everyone, Karen here. Uh, I'm, we're out in my garden today, so I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. So um, it's uh, a lot of work, but um, we've been planting. So we have, you can see we have white onion in the ground here. And we do have tomatoes in. It's a little bit early for us and it's supposed to get really cold tonight. So I'm just out here kind of taking a look. So this is all rows of tomato. And then over here we have mint going crazy. It's just all over the place. And we've been digging it up and trying to get it back over here and trying to uh, figure out how we can contain it a little bit more. Um, so we're trying to kind of shrink the size of this area of the mint. And we're going to be putting in more black dirt here, down here, and lengthening our garden. And then my garden shed is going to be going over here by where these um, windows are in this area here. So I think my garden shed has a front door and a back door. So we might put it like right where our little pile of black dirt is. So we might put it there. So we're getting ready to clean this up. I cut down all these trees, just scrub trees or whatever, cut that all down. So we got to get that all out of here. So we did that. And so we're getting ready to think about where we're going to put the greenhouse and the small one. This is the small greenhouse going in this year. And we do have some thyme over here. We have thyme and we have lavender. And over here we have red onion and we also have red onion sets in between these rows and I know they're a little bit close together but we're kind of running out of room where we have black dirt. Uh, the rest of the soil is all sand. As you can see it's all sand so we have to put in black dirt. So we have the onions here and we have spinach here and a little bit of flowers there we have rhubarb and we have sage and then i bought this purple sage so we're going to try this out we have the purple sage here and then i did, did get another sage here and this is a stevia plant this is like the sweet sweetener that you put on your um you know that comes in the packages of stevia this is a stevia plant that's what this is and I'm gonna try to grow it and see um, how well it does and if it actually is sweet but I just put this stuff in here I did get two rosemaries so I have two rosemaries my favorite and then this one is a curry plant and then we have um, parsley and this is a lavender bush. I don't know if it's going to, it's it's trying to come back, but the whole middle is like nothing happening. So I might have to cut this back a little bit more and then kind of tie these up, the ones that are coming in and kind of make it look a little bit better. Um, but it's still early, so we have more time and it's kind of going crazy all over the place. I'm going to let it go for this year. And we have basil and... Um, Let's see what else. I forget what that one is there. Oh, my eyes. I get out here and my eyes are just watering like crazy. It's what you get for having allergies, right? So we have that going on. And then we did put in some a row of peppers over here by the onion. I just had to like try to find room. So we put peppers there. And then we have potatoes planted in here. And then on the outskirts, I put a couple, a few tomato plants because we're just running out of black dirt space. So that's why we're going to get a load of black dirt. And then we have onions going to see here. And then we also have chives there, another um, thyme plant there. And then this is potatoes. And we have some volunteer onion coming up because I had onions in there last year. So, and then I put the remainder of the tomatoes over here, and my pansies are, it, it's, I don't know if they're going to make it or not. I might have to move those into the sun a little bit more. Let me see here. Might do better over here a little bit. 
And we're going to put all new wood around our garden this year. It's all rotted and it's all yucky looking. So anyway, we have that. And then we do have where all of these stakes are is where we have strawberries coming up. And when we have 25 at the end of the month, we have 25 more strawberries coming to plant. And then I put some extra peppers here. And they have to get black dirt and stuff and some um, other things. Black dirt and we're going to do some compost and that. So you can see the, the strawberries are blooming. So wherever you see the little bloom, that's where there's going to be a strawberry. So and then they kind of filtered themselves into this flower bed. I'm going to let them go for this year, but this fall I'm going to dig them up and I'm going to put them back over here where they belong. So they kind of trailed over to here. We have peonies coming up. These are peonies. Another one here. And then um, I think these are height synthesis. Let me be sure. Oh, I just got one of those stakes in my leg. Oh, let's see. Yeah, height synthesis. Um, so the blue and the, it's really purple, but they call it a blue one. And um, we have that going on. And then um, we have a rose bush here. Needs cut back just a little bit. Need to cut it back and really get some good food. We have lettuce coming up here. I hope this is still going. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. Um, my eyes are watering like crazy. Um, but yeah, we've been doing a lot of work in here. And this is another rose bush. My son got me. It's coming back real good on one side. The other part needs to be clipped back a little bit and needs to get some food. And then these are um, English Daisy Bells. These are adorable. Aren't they cute? These are so cute. And then we have some more rose bushes I put in. So a yellow and a pink. And... One may, may need to be tied up a little bit. I hate to see them get into the dirt. So, um, and then these things, this might be too sunny for this. I have to see. These are supposed to be a little bit for shade. What's making that noise? Sounds like a bee got inside this thing. You can hear it. Yep, there it flew out. There was a bee in, in buzzing in between that couldn't get out. <laughs> Good thing I saved its life, right? This is a raspberry. So we used to have a whole area here full of raspberry, and they just died out. So, And I think it was a little bit on my part is like I should have cut them back down every single year, and it just got busy and didn't, and that's why they... Um, they just kind of gave up. Uh, anyway, and they needed food because they were just in this direct sand. So everything needs black dirt. And this is another uh, raspberry. They are gorgeous. They are just gorgeous. And you can see they're going to bloom pretty soon. So, um, so yeah. So let's see. I planted in here. I planted some peppermint because we have spearmint. So this is peppermint in here. And it did rain the other day. And this I brought down here. I had this up by my patio area. And I just put a whole bunch of um, moss. I went and picked it from the woods. If I can get the door open. I'll show you better. Oh, it got kind of confickled there. I can't push it. I can't push it. But you can see. Uh, moss. And then I'm going get to get some pliers and pull this up. It got in between the door. So then we have moss in there, and then I'm going to put some black dirt in there, and then I'm going to plant something. And it needs watered. It really does. So I'm going to leave that open for now. And these are our blueberries. You can see they're just starting to bloom. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, my eyes are dripping off my face. Oh, I get out here, and I just love it, and it just, just tears me up. Um, so all of these where the stakes are, we have blueberry. So you can see they're just starting to bloom. And they've been neglected. They really need uh, mulch. They need 
um, some compost and black dirt and really a mixture of things and they look so shabby and I'm just ashamed of them how bad they look. We have a couple different, um, this is a grapevine here, we have another grapevine there and it is, um, they never really produce much grapes. So I cut this one back, this one had a disease on it, I cut all that back, I have it in my burn pit and I'm going to burn it off. And uh, here is where I put a bunch of plants in here. I started some flower seed. So we have some seed going here. I think these are zinnias. zinnias. Um, that one, nothing yet. Oh, I do see a little something coming up. A little teeny tiny something coming up. And I should move that one over here. They do have... Um, they do have a little more water over here. It rains, so this barrel. I put them in here so they didn't like blow all apart uh, because we had a bad storm. And then uh, this thing filled up with a little bit of water, but now it's almost gone. So I planted these yesterday. Nastrum. Um, and then these are coming up. These are morning glory. They're just starting to come up. And then we have a little bit of moonflower coming up there. And I planted these about a week ago, some of these others. These I just planted yesterday. So these we have uh, bachelor buttons, kind of a purple and white flower. And then I don't, I don't know all the names of flowers. I just don't. A, a salium, I don't know how to even pronounce it, but anyway, we have that, and then this one we planted yesterday, and this is the uh, forget-me-nots, and that came off, but they're doing pretty good, and you put the, leave the lid on, but just keep them moist, and they grow pretty good in here to get started, and then we'll transplant them, so that's what we have going on there. We have our wire things for our tomato plants here, and we've been digging from this black dirt. We need to get that all gone so we can put the greenhouse here. And then with these windows, I'm going to make a, a little coal frame. So I'll probably make that over in here somewhere because we really don't have anything. Maybe like right in this area would be good, but not too far back because back along the fence line, these are lavender here. And then in between this lavender, I have asparagus planted. So we should be able to see a little bit of asparagus coming up. I'm afraid to walk over here because um, I know that it goes over here, in between here somewhere. There's one right there, if you can see it. I'm afraid to walk in here. So here's one asparagus. Oh, there's a bigger piece right there. See it? Oh! we get to eat it this year. I hope it comes up. 